Hey everyone, it's Julie. This week we are making making acorn toadstools. These are just like little stools that be that will be sprinkled throughout your garden so fairies can sit on them. The things you need for this craft are you need acorn, at least one acorn, um, an acorn, paint, paint brush, and some glue. Uh, you can use a hot glue gun or you can use Elmer's. So that is all the supplies that you need for this craft. Um, I already did mine, so I'm just going to tell you the steps to do it. The very first step is you need to get your acorn. Um, and then you get to decide if you want to separate them. So if you want to separate the top from the bottom. Um, so yeah, so that's your first decision is just decide that. Uh, then you're going to paint them. So whichever you decide, you just paint the acorn. Um, I didn't mind. Looks kind of brown with my phone, but it's actually red. Um, with some like white spots on the, on the top. So you get to decide, you get to decide what kind of design you want to do, what color you want to do. But once you get it all painted, and if you did take them apart, uh, you basically are going to glue them back together. So your the best bet is basically put some glue on the bottom of the top. Let's see if I can, there you go, I can't see it. Bottom of the top, so put some glue on the bottom of this guy. Put some glue on the top of the, of the body. And you're just going to let it dry. Um, I'd recommend holding it kind of like this for, you know, a minute before letting go. Um, but yeah, you let it dry. And then once it's dry, you have your toadstool. You can make as many of these as you want. Uh, it's just up to you. You can go outside, grab as many acorns as you want. But yeah. That is how you do this week's craft. Uh, it was a short video this week just because there was only two steps to the craft. But thank you for sticking with me anyways. And I hope you guys had fun. If you want to share your creations, um, we would absolutely love that. We love to see kind of what people come up with, what designs they do. Uh, if you do that, please just post them in the comments and use the hashtag... G-H-C-L Fairy Garden Home. And yeah, that would be great if you do that. And then we hope everyone is, you know, safe and healthy. And, you know, join me next week. Um, it is going to be more of just a share. So I will just be doing a short little shout out to see if anybody wants to share their fairy, fairy crafts or fairy insp inspired crafts. Uh, so yeah, so just keep a lookout for that and have a great day. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!